God said. Knowledge is stronger than belief. The foundation of power. Knowledge is typically defined as justified true belief, rooted in evidence, reasoning, and empirical verification. To know is to operate from certainty, or at least a high degree of confidence built on observable truth. This is why confidence in a man is magnetic. He feels like a safe bet, a stable presence in a chaotic world. Belief, on the other hand, requires no proof. It can exist in the absence of evidence, fueled by fear, faith, tradition, or cultural conditioning. And because belief is more fragile, it's far more vulnerable to manipulation. Religion thrives where knowledge is absent. Where there are gaps in knowledge, religion inserts belief. It fills unknowns with stories, promises, and dogma. But when those beliefs are subjected to scientific, historical, or philosophical scrutiny, they begin to fracture. Religion weakens under investigation because its foundations aren't evidential. They're emotional. Ah! The brain on belief versus knowledge. Modern neuroscience supports this distinction. Studies show that certainty, rooted in knowledge, activates the prefrontal cortex, responsible for logical decision-making and reduced stress. In contrast, faith-based or uncertain thinking often activates brain regions associated with rumination, anxiety, and emotional regulation. When you know your body responds with dopamine and serotonin, neurotransmitters of confidence and calm, when you believe without evidence, your system may flood with cortisol, the stress hormone of uncertainty. This biochemical contrast is why so much of the world remains in chaos. Masses cling to belief awaiting Jesus' return instead of acting from informed certainty. Faith in this context becomes paralyzed. Confidence born from knowing empowers. Belief, when untethered from reality, leaves room for manipulation. Religion exploits psychological vulnerability. Why do belief systems persist in the face of contradictory evidence? Because they meet psychological needs. Fear of death, heaven, fear of meaninglessness, divine purpose, fear of rejection, religious community. This is why Nietzsche called religion a slave morality and Marx labeled it the opium of the people. I would argue that it's one of the major foundations for maintaining the matrix. The lost sheep metaphor as control. Jesus' parable of the lost sheep, Matthew 18, 12 to 14, is often romanticized, but its implications are clear. Without a shepherd, the sheep follower is lost. The message. You need us to guide you. This is psychological warfare disguised as compassion. It primes people to believe they're broken without faith, so they surrender to those claiming to hold truth. But if you knew your worth, your direction, and your purpose, you wouldn't need a shepherd. And that makes you dangerous to power. Fear is the cornerstone of faith. Religions often weaponize fear, hell if you doubt, shame if you fail, isolation if you question, this is backed by terror management theory, which shows that people lean into religion more when reminded of death or existential crisis. Knowledge, philosophy, and science can dismantle these illusions, but only if the individual is ready to confront the void without flinching. Religion's rejection of truth. Religion often claims to love truth. The truth shall set you free, John 8:32 but only when the truth aligns with its narrative. If scientific facts contradict doctrine, dismiss it. If historical evidence disproves miracles, call it deception. The truth will set you free, unless it costs you your religion. If your religion can't withstand scrutiny, it was never true. It was comfort, and if your identity shatters when faced with facts, it was never confidence. It was conditioning. The future belongs to those who question, those who know, not just believe. 
because freedom starts when you stop outsourcing your truth. True freedom comes from unrestricted pursuit of knowledge, not just the approved kind. For many believers, that's a risk they're unwilling or too afraid to take. 